Hello and welcome to part 5 of IK Booster Essentials series. In this part we're looking at animating a character, a walk cycle to be specific, using IK boost, Booster. Excuse me. So let me load my object here and let's get started. So I load my object and then I go to the setup tab. Under add, I convert skeletons to bones. I have a tutorial on converting or creating skeletons. You can check it out. And then I press Ctrl B to go into IK Booster mode. Right click on the pivot and apply IK Booster. So now um, you see these controls showing that IK Booster is active. So I can go to the IKB menu down here, options, and then make sure the controller size is zero. That looks way better. And then reduce my timeline to 12 frames because that's what I need for my animation of the walk cycle. And then I go to my shoulder, right click, IK stop. So the IK can end there on the neck as well. IK stop. Uh, IK stop on the hip as well. On the other hip as well. And fix the ankle and fix the foot. Fix the ankle and fix the foot. And our rigging process is promptly done. Okay. So now let's begin our animation. So go to the review the dope track here down here. And then make sure you change your mode to all item because I want a keyframe for every bone. And then let me change my view to a three port view like that. These two are showing the same side, so let me change this one so I can see his front. I don't need the camera in this case, it's just getting in the way, so let me move it out of the way so I can animate in peace. And I think that's all the preparation I need. So let's begin. Let me go to frame 6 and save this pose. So I've selected the object itself and saved that pose. So every item is saved because we are on all item mode. And then I go to frame zero and hold down control while I lift this anchor because it's got a fix attached to it. So it, it removes the fix while I hold down control so I can lift the leg up. If I don't hold down control, the leg will move, uh, will stay level like that. And that's not what I want in this case. So I'll hold down control and lift it up like that. Now he looks like he's going to tip over fall over so what I'm going to do is hold down the center of gravity and shift him to the other side for balance and move the knee a little bit move that inward a little bit so that I have something resembling a lifting of a leg that is well balanced okay that's what I need so let me go to frame six and do exactly the opposite of that so let me lift this one a little bit up so I can see a difference here when you hold down and there we go so same thing here uh, move it a little bit this way and make him balance so he doesn't fall there we go and that kind of looks realistic enough Okay, so you can manipulate any bone and please remember that you can shift into the regular uh, mode and shift your bones using this mode, the native Lightwave way. And then just press Ctrl B to get back to IK Booster mode like that. So now what I have is just a repeat of this, but I need to repeat frame 0 at frame 12. So to start with, let me go to the dope track and click in there a little bit once or twice to make sure that any keyframes that are selected are deselected. Make sure I'm on all items, select the object, and then go to frame zero, but right click on frame 12 and say copy key from the current uh, state. Okay, so there we go. So now I have this uh, motion up, down, up, down, up, down which doesn't really look like a work cycle, but let's fix that in a second. Let me go to frame two. Now the leg that's up here is supposed to go forward because it's taking a step. So at frame two, we are heading it forward. Let me hold down control while I do this, push it forward. And 
that's how it is okay that's pretty good and then let's lower the hip a little bit so we give him leeway move this other leg back let me hold down control if something weird happens that you didn't expect just uh, undo right so here let me i can move individual numbers so let me move that number to give the exact pose that i want and like i said remember you can change modes and go back to the native way of doing things ik booster will still use those keyframes all right so i think that's the pose i was looking for and then at frame four we want him to maintain that pose a little bit longer so let me hold down control again and pull that back and this time i'm going to pull that outward and the toe outward as well right so that we have this is the pose we have let me move the knee outward a little bit like that okay and that one as well here let me move it outward a bit if you find you're clicking a number and things are not moving then there's probably a fix so just hold down control while you do that that should solve the problem usually let me put this firmly on the ground all right so we have something that's resembling taking a step something like that so now we have to do the opposite on the other side so frame two should kind of look like frame eight so we're trying to make frame eight look like frame two so here there's this leg that's up that's the one that should move forward so let me hold down control and move that forward again move the other one back oh and actually on frame four I should lower his uh, center of gravity some more. I forgot to do that because this is the lowest point. Okay, at frame two, it shouldn't be this low. So it's just a little bit lower here. Low, and then at frame four, it goes the lowest. And then up again on frame six. So let's go back to frame eight. Let me lower it a little bit like that to give him space to move his leg back like that a little lower so here you can uh, take your time and get the pose that you actually need because once you're done with this you can just loop this uh, this walk cycle there we go that's the pose that I need and then on frame 10 we extend this leg again hold down control while you're doing that and then extend this foot extend the toe and then let me firm this on the ground lower the center of gravity a bit more and we have the step that we want so this should be a walk a reasonable walk at this point so let me see that you know it's glory let me close the bone x-ray let me make a, a preview oh sorry that thing is centered so that looks weird but let me make a preview now the preview should probably go to frame 11 so we don't repeat one frame all right so now his uh, his arms are extended and that's not what we want so because ik booster has this powerful way of dealing with keyframes i can go to the shoulder bone here select it and go to child mode and then delete all the keyframes after frame zero so let me click and drag in the timeline because i'm in child mode all the children of this particular bone will have their keyframes deleted so delete key that's good let me select the other side now it's harder to select the other shoulder bone so what i would do is i will right click on this one that's already selected go to options and controller edit and click and drag that controller over there click again in the same place and move the other controller over there then right click and say end edit this way i can click here to have this one selected and click there to have the other bone selected makes it easier to select bones so i want to do the same delete on the other bone and right click delete keys okay so this way, if I'm at frame zero and actually 
animate the character so I can go back to all item at this point it doesn't matter so let me lower the arm and lower the arm on the other side as well so now we have this uh, movement mm -hmm. so this uh, is exactly the same at frame 6 so I'm on all item every item will get a keyframe and then I go back again at 12 and every item will get a keyframe there, including the arms. So the only part I need to change is frame um, three. Instead of going to frame two and four, like we did for the feet, let's do some overlap by going to frame three. So at frame three, the left leg is forward. So the right arm should go forward. So at this point, let me, no need to hold on control here because there are no fixes on this one. And then the other one goes back. All right, back. Mm -hmm. Adds the pose right there. Go back to frame nine and then do exactly the opposite. So frame nine, no, 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 this one goes back. Yeah, and this one goes forward. All right, so at this point, the basic walk cycle is done. So let's see how that guy strides with pride. There we go. So he's walking. I get that the um, motion, uh, the screen capture software won't allow this to run in real time. So let me try and make a preview if that will help, I hope. Play that. That's our walk cycle right there. So it's not the perfect walk cycle, obviously. This is just the beginning. So you can now start tweaking and modifying. The more time you spend on this, the better your walk cycle will look. You can add some swinging of the hips and head bobbing as he walks to make it a little bit better. But for the purposes of this tutorial, this is enough. So once you're done with this, you can just right click and save your work. So in this case, I'm going to save the motion. Now this motion ends at frame 12, but IK Booster requires you to add an extra keyframe when saving, if you want to include that last, uh, that last one. So I want to save these as uh, Monk Walk. I'm saving that. Replace, I had already saved one and just hit okay. So now I've saved this. Uh, if I extend my timeline, I can simply go to frame 12 and load it again. Or I can right click here and copy the uh, loop, the motion. But for the sake of learning how to load, I can go back to motion load and monk walk. That's the one, it will load again. So now we have the same motion repeating twice. Then I can go into the timeline, make sure all item is selected, select everything. Make sure the cursor that is at the last keyframe, right click and then copy keys and then specify that I want this to end at frame uh, probably 120. It gives a rough estimate of where this will end. So if you adjust this value, you get to see it. Let me try 95. Okay, so probably 98 is probably good. Oh, it's somewhere there, so let me just say okay. So everything is repeated now, you have a loop. And then since we have these powerful keyframe modes, what I can do is go to the the shoulder and then make sure I move from all item I go to child mode and then select all these keyframes let me go to 150 just to make sure I select all these keyframes from this so from the shoulder downward everything will be deleted because we're in child mode so I'll delete these keys and then at frame 30 I can probably just animate something new like probably make him raise his hand something like that for the sake of demonstration and then the animation will change like that and then he raises his, ha his hand and he's walking so you can have him do hand gestures while he's walking like this as you animate because you can delete some keyframes and leave others in the process all right so this is all about animating in ik booster if you have any problems with your animation please leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you and I'm going to give you this character for the purposes of your experimentation so you can test out these things I'll leave the, the, the link in the description as well so 
I will see you in another video. Hope you learned something.